Hello, this is Jason. Jason, it's Phil at Crystal. How you doing? Hey, Phil. I'm doing good. How about you? Doing good. Doing good. Um, sorry to be calling a little later than I thought. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess, yeah. I didn't really notice. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Yeah, good <laughs> um, well, if you got a quick moment uh, to still talk real quick, just wanted to get uh, kind of a soundbite or two about AMI, what it means, how it's calculated. And I did hear, is it uh, being updated pretty soon? Yes, it's generally updated in the spring. Okay. Um, but I did hear that it's a little bit later this year than most years. HUD's not going to get it out until the end of May. Okay, not until the end of May. Gotcha. Yeah, because I saw the Blue 52 release went out the other day, and they were saying, uh, you know, they'll make those applications kind of in conjunction with the new AMI. Um, but they, the release also didn't say when it was going to happen. So We never know when it's going to happen. <laughs> Great. That's fun, keeping you guys on your toes. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, we'll start to, like I said, just kind of wanted to find out those three big things. So first of all, what is AMI? How does it fit into, you know, housing up in the mountains? Yeah, absolutely. Um, AMI, um, it's a great question. It stands for Area Median Income, and it's a statistics that, that's generated by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development as a measure of local income. And um, it's used widely in federal, state, and local housing programs. And, um, you know, being that Summit County is not a large metropolitan area, um, large metropolitan areas, they get, get it calculated annually mm -hmm. by the uh, American Community Survey that the Census Bureau puts out because the, the AMI estimates are based on the incomes in the American Community Survey income data. It also uses data like the Consumer Price Index, and HUD, from time to time, does change the methodology of how they calculate AMIs. Okay. Okay. Great. And like you said, uh, elsewhere, you know, larger urban areas, recalculated annually kind of keeps up with changes as they're happening. In the mountains, though, a little different. Every five years, right? Yes, that's the uh, – I'm going to call it the uh, ACS survey, the American Community Survey. Um, in the larger metropolitan areas like Denver, um, it's annual, and um, it has a lot of the data that's used in cooking the AMI formula. Here in the mountains, um, yeah, it's average, you know, probably seven years in the rears. Okay. Or not seven, I should say five. Three to five, three to seven years in the rears, you know, average five. Okay. So it can be a little bit uh, out of date, and that's why they use other – indexes to try to keep it up to date like the cpi index okay great um and uh in terms of you know in the mountains is it is it pretty accurate is it a good reflection of you know what's happening here locally or does it sometimes not keep up with you know workforce and wages and everything else um, it's a snapshot, but it's not um, the most accurate snapshot of what's going on, especially if they change the formula and that time lag. It, can, it, can, it does have a tendency to lag and not be completely up to date with what's going on with uh, the mountain incomes. Okay, great. And like you said, the uh, the, the newest um, AMI is going to be released here uh, coming up in May. Any ideas on what's going to happen? Will it be going up, going down, different levels for different uh, you know people? Um, any idea what's going to happen with it? Only a guess. I would guess that just yes, based on uh, trends that it will be uh, going up a bit. Do not know how much. Um, but then again, you know, we could be completely surprised where it's, where it's stagnant or drops, as has happened in other years. But we do anticipate it to creep up. Okay, great. And then let's see, the final question. Uh, why is this important for people trying to, you know, either purchase or – even rent in the mountains. Why is that number a, yeah. a big deal? Um, how, we, how we use AMI locally, because you hear it talked about in most of the workforce projects that are out there. Um, you know, it's uh, it's used to determine household household affordability um, based on an AMI group. For example, you hear eighty to one hundred and twenty percent AMI um, new housing projects. You hear 100% AMI rental rates, and so what it is, when I say housing affordability, affordable housing is technically housing that is 
of your gross income. Mm -hmm. So, for example, um, <laughs> using the 2017 AMI numbers, a 100% AMI two-person household is 70,400 annual gross income. You divide that by 12, it's 5866 per month gross income. Times 30, that equals to $1,760 per month living experiences expense. And typically in the mountains, we find that uh, we're paying above the 30% um, for housing expenses. Okay. But uh, that's, how, um, that's how those categories are organized and how the 100% uh, AMI incomes based on household size translate to a 100% AMI rent based on household size and also translates into a 100% um, cost of a workforce housing. Okay. Great. Perfect, Jason. And I think that was uh, that was about all I needed. Really just wanted to talk a little bit more about that. Okay, well, great. Um, yeah, any other questions, feel free to reach out. All right, will do again. Always appreciate the help. All right, thanks a lot, Bill. All right, you have a good one, Jason. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.